there, welcome to a place perfectly fit for Halloween. Today we find ourselves in London, more precisely in Jack the Ripper's museum in White Cha. Ah! <laughs> this is, this is fine can somebody please? That's fine, you can go back to the UK. Okay, thank you. Right, so. Okay, in the era of Christianity, the tradition of Halloween became absorbed into the celebration of All Saints Day, which was held on the 1st of November and was dedicated to honouring all saints and martyrs. The 2nd of November became All Souls Day, honouring the dead. All Saints Day then became All Hallows, and the night before it became All Hallows Eve, Halloween. Many Celtic traditions blurred with Christian celebrations, bonfires, parades, dressing up, and they became encouraged by the church. Trick or treating, presumably, came from early medieval pageantry. Just before All Souls Day, poorer people would go from door to door receiving food in exchange for their promise to pay for the dead relatives of the household. These types of practices were encouraged by the church. They became known as going a souling. Ghost stories were at the heart of early Halloween celebrations and led to many superstitions that became customs around that time of year. Even the Catholic Church had its own ghost stories, emphasising morality and the need to live a good Christian life. In later medieval times, and especially in the Victorian Gothic movement, tales of ghosts and spirits usually became linked to violent events and places, building on pre-existing tales such as the reports of Anne Boleyn's restless soul after her execution and the headless drummer boy in Dover Castle. During the Victorian era, Halloween was quite popular. They threw massive parties with loads of intricate rituals. They wore costumes, played tricks and games, and funnily enough, the main focus of the evening was matchmaking. Divination in Victorian England was very popular, and on Halloween, single people would try and guess their marital fate. Now that we've seen the history of Halloween in the UK, let's see how Halloween was born in Ireland with Emily and Maeve, two experts on the topic. Halloween originally comes from Ireland, and it is a festival also called Celtic Festival of Samhain. This festival is always celebrated at the end of the harvest and the beginning of winter. These are dark days, and for most people, it is clearly related to death. If this myth that the dead can walk along with the living exists is because of Samhain, who is reputed to have blurred the frontier between life and death. The tradition of wearing monstrous costumes is used to blend with the dead and in the hope that the living wearing those costumes remain untouched by demonic forces. The traditions have changed with time Children collect treats in the neighborhood and they carve evil faces on pumpkins. This tradition was developed much later because originally it was not pumpkins but turnips. Scaring away the dead was the main purpose of using turnips. Its aim was to prevent the otherworldly beings from adopting young people. This change was caused by the Great Potato Famine in the 1800s with the massive migration of Irish people. There was a change of mind and so people decided that pumpkins were easier to carve. And with that, the popular jack-o'-lantern was born. The Feast of All Saints is another appropriation of Halloween. It was an opposition to the pagan and Christian belief system. I have a new phone. Oh, yeah, I lost my old one. It's nowhere to be found. Do you recall you lost it? No, Ruby. Otherwise, I would have found it, wouldn't I? That's why you sent me an email yesterday. Exactly. Do you find rats? Oh, am I at it? No, there's this really weird noise, and I have no idea where it is. <laughs> Maybe it's like the picture. Shut up. But seriously, look at the new papers. Look. They found a woman lying on the bed with that hurt. Oh, with that stomach. Go on. They found Oh, My mom called me every night. <sighs> She's so scared, I could be the next. Well, that's what mums do, she loves you. Yeah, but don't call me every night. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. I find you very beautiful and I was wondering, can I get your number or oh. could we go, go, go get out together? I, I'm not really used to men being this straightforward. Is I'm, it a yes? Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really interested. Are you sure? For yeah, real? I, yeah, yeah, I, I... Look mate, she's not interested. So fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. What? Did you have to be so mean to it? You wouldn't leave. You should be grateful. Grateful? You should be grateful. grateful. Maybe he's just yes. shy or something. He, he looked like weird. 
listen, you're just about how your mm -hmm. mum protects mm -hmm. you too much. And you're doing the exact same thing to I'm me. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me? Protect me from what? He was just a nice guy trying... Try, trying to be nice to me. You never let me have anything, like do you? Like what Cooper. Like Cooper. Like Cooper. Jesus it's Christ. It's a cool one. Listen, you're, yeah, you're unbelievable. You're truly unbelievable. Wait. Amelia! So far, we were able to get more information about the origins of Halloween in the UK and in Ireland. But I feel like there's more to this story. How about the origins of this celebration in other countries? What about Mexico or Spain? That's what Lucas is here to talk about, here in the Congress Centre located in London. We went to see him directly on stage to hear what he had to say. During this event, they pay tribute to their relatives, their last. They also erect memorials with flowers, the dead stuff and their favourite belongings. People are dressed as skeletons to imitate the Calavera Catalina. They talk to their ancestors and introduce the new kids. Thousand years ago, the Native Americans thought that their dead relatives came back to us once a year, so they started celebrating it. Hmm, interesting. So Mexicans used to think that the dead could come back once a year, and so that is why they started celebrating it. I look forward to seeing why people in the USA started celebrating Halloween. Back in the mid-1800s, Irish immigrants came to the USA, bringing their Halloween tradition with them. In Mexico, El Dia de los Muertos, which may be one of Mexico's best-known holidays, shares many similarities with our Halloween as to how people celebrate it. In the USA, 70% of Americans celebrate Halloween. They wear scary costumes, decorate the house, or carve scary faces on pumpkins. They're called jack-o'-lanterns. This tradition was directly brought to America by Irish immigrants. Kids go trick-or-treating in the streets. They go from house to house asking for candies or snacks. By saying trick-or-treat, the Aztec festival of the dead was originally a two-month celebration during which figures of death were personified and honored. If no treat is given, children can play a trick on the homeowners. There are other fun activities that people do in America, such as watching horror movies, visiting haunted houses, or telling tales of witches and ghosts. Parades, parties, costume contests are a must during today's Halloween celebrations. Every year, 20% of Americans plan to visit a haunted house such as Headless Horseman in New York or Field of Screams in Pennsylvania. With time, scary costumes became more and more popular in America and a huge market was built around Halloween products. Not Scary Farm is a seasonal Halloween event in Buena Park in California. There is also Six Flags Fright Fest held annually at Six Flags Theme Park. It mainly features haunted attractions, themed areas named Scare Zones and terrifying mazes. It's fun to see how there are so many different ways to celebrate Halloween in all the countries we've seen so far. But I can't help but wonder, how did this tradition that originally comes from English-speaking countries take its roots within France? Did you know that only 29% of the French take part in Halloween? In France, the historical and cultural ties to Halloween are not as deep as in some other countries. However, it has gained popularity over the years thanks to movies and marketing, especially among younger people. There are various ways Halloween is celebrated in France. Firstly, with costumes and parties. Children and young adults enjoy dressing up for the occasion and attending parties. Then there's trick-or-treating. Whilst it is not as common as in the US, children go trick-or-treating from door to door in their neighbourhoods asking for candies. Last but not least, visiting haunted houses. Even if they are clearly less popular and less common than in the USA, some French people do enjoy it. The season of Halloween is coming and uh, to celebrate this special holiday we decided to interview people about their habits, uh, their experiences and their opinion on this uh, spooky day. It is clear now that with the help of internet and globalization, many more countries have heard of Halloween. But from what we've understood with our interviews, it didn't win anonymous support. We've interviewed people from the USA, 
the UK, Japan and many other countries um, and what we found was uh, actually pretty interesting. So for most people, uh, Halloween is a fun celebration. Um, it's a way to gather with friends, to watch horror movies, to go trick or treating in the neighborhoods uh, and to dress uh, more importantly as ghosts, vampires, uh, zombies or Superman. And that's where opinions differ. We've been asking ourselves a lot of questions about Halloween today, but what if we go directly to the source and ask people about it? Should we celebrate Halloween? Yes, why not? The world needs all the fun and joy it can get. Should we celebrate Halloween? Yeah, it's a great reason to party. Yeah, of course, it's all about history and fun. I really love that. Yes, we should. Uh, I think that celebrating Halloween is an important part of our Mexican culture and that it connects us to our pagan ancestors. Um, and our civilization globally. So, and people are very much attach attached to it, as you might have noticed. Personally, I really hate scary things, so I will say no. Should we celebrate Halloween? Only if you wear something spooky. To be honest, no. It uses too much plastic. No. Yes, we have to. I don't know. Should we celebrate Halloween? I think you got the question wrong. It's not about whether we should celebrate Halloween. It has to do with you, with your personal beliefs, with your point of view over the world and Halloween. So the question should be, should I celebrate Halloween? Does it contradict my values or principles? Or do I just view it as a way to party and have fun with other people? It all just comes down to this. It's very personal indeed. Overall, I think most people either celebrate it or just don't care about it. But if you're opposed to it, that's okay. You do you, I do me, and everyone's happy. To conclude, Halloween is gaining popularity in France, especially among younger generations, which demonstrates the ongoing influence of global culture. As we've seen, there are various ways in which Halloween can be celebrated, depending on the culture, the country, or the very people who celebrate it. And there are many ways to celebrate it, even the... I'm... I'm very sorry. Hello? Is this Amelia? Yeah, that's me. I am your sister. Do you really want her to die for your mistakes? To, uh... I'm sorry. Uh, you do live on 10th Street, 11th Avenue? Uh, yes. I stripped her and she in your living room and she's about to die. If you want her to live, don't call the cops and come home. On your own. That, that can't you have that. one hour. That, that. Uh, uh, the, uh, sorry. Halloween is celebrated among young people around the world. It's become a very, very famous party. Uh, it's, it's fine, you can go. <laughs> okay, thank you.
keys do you have in your phone? Oh, yeah, I lost my old one. It's nowhere to be found. Oh. Thank you. 
What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What? Stop! 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 Stop right now! Stop! Stop! Thank you. 